Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. You're here. All right. Uh, this is the inaugural inaugural um, Nasty Work podcast episode. It's me, your host, uh, Luke Frazier, with our other host, Nate Russell. And we're going to be talking about all types of things. Fashion, clothes, drip, financial crimes, true crimes, weather, and everything in between. Really what I want to talk about is mostly financial crimes. Mm-hmm. True white like, collar crimes? True white collar crimes. Fuck that. Fuck that murder shit. That's just cooked. I want to learn about Bernie Madoff. How do you do a play like that? Well, mm-hmm. also, I think it's important to realize that there's nothing in the Ten Commandments stopping you from financial crimes. I guess steal from them. Maybe. I, I think I think there is. I'm pretty sure uh, usury. Is that how you pronounce usury? it? Usury is a crime. But it I, is a crime. Is it for Christians? No. Just Muslims, right? I don't think it's, I think it's not, I don't think it, I think it's frowned upon. Uh, we haven't really figured out what we're going to talk about yet. Um, and, but we decided that if there was one thing the world needed, it was two more guys in their mid thirties starting a podcast. Without um, a doubt. I think we're an underrepresented group in this field. So I figured it was time to get into it and just kind of speak on, speak on our existence and live our truths. I mean, really, this is more of like a library of Alexandria situation. Why do you keep referencing the <laughs> library of Alexandria? Because it was one of the wonders of the world, bro, and it had all the world's knowledge. Like, yeah, now right I, here. Now I got that in my phone. Yeah. Do we? Bro, I don't know. You can't, you can't uh, traverse the seas using the stars. You can't build, and you don't know there's, how the pyramids were built. There's literally an app for both of those things. Do you think that the pyramids were built by people, or what's your theory on the pyramids? I, I agree that people thinking that aliens built the pyramid is OD racist. Mm. Um, here's the thing. I actually have thought about this a lot because, you know, I'm, like, into history. Here's the thing about the fucking pyramids, Nate. Lay it on me. So, of course, people built the pyramids. And do you know why? Because people were just as smart. 5,000 years ago, like there wasn't the same base of knowledge, but like people had the same intelligence level person for person as we do now. Okay. And they didn't have shit else to do. They literally didn't have books. They didn't have YouTube. They didn't have cars. They didn't have anything to do except stare at the fucking sun, stare at the stars and build shit because they had nothing else to do with their time. What do you mean? They have scrolls. Dude, like, <laughs> where did the where did the papyrus the piperus is that papyrus you, papyrus where did that what? font come from huh <laughs> <laughs> where did that font come from well, no, but what I'm getting at is like that like there was a very select few of people who had like access to that most people were just sitting around twiddling their fucking thumbs not doing nothing you, people were not just twiddling their fucking thumbs yeah they dude. were trying to survive yeah they were trying to survive but you don't think people mused on. Uh, I don't know, the, the higher thoughts and shit. Like, yeah, they thought that's why they were staring at the stars and building pyramids. That's mm, what I'm getting at. Uh, I guess you're right. If all you they do, had nothing better to do. You're just looking up. As opposed to now, back then, their lives were meaningless. Now, we there's meaning in the human life. What is the meaning now compared to then? Getting, we kind of do the same getting, shit. Getting money, getting like fly shit, getting fast cars, getting jewelry, like, like, what else? Yeah. I mean, it used to be the same shit. You just get a sweet horse and a, a sick chariot, and then you just get fucking sweet jewels. The same there was, shit. There was no infrastructure, though, so they couldn't take it anywhere. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Yeah. Yeah, but then you just you just flex in your town. I guess your city? It was a village. A, it, the, it, the village? It takes a village. I mean, flexing in a village sounds like shit. I'm not going to lie. Neolithic flexing, it sounds like ass. Um, They had hella gold, but it's like, at what cost? Like, what was the point of it? You know? Like, what... You couldn't, they couldn't even take pictures. Just to drip, I guess. I guess. They're doing it for the love of the game. Uh, it, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, what is, I, I'm, kind, I'm kind of just thinking, yeah, like, what kind of is the point? You get to just feed your people and then well, you cool out? This was also kind of like pre-DNA test. So mm. you could, like, kind of, like, have as many kids as you want. And then, like, think about how <laughs> insane, like, a con artist could have gone back in the day. Probably so much fucking fun. Probably so like, much like fun. Leo from Catch Me If You Can, but like as an ancient like Alexandrian. Dude, you really could just you could be moving sna- snake oil crazy. I think that if one of us went back in time, like a real finesser went back in time now, they would like take over the world because people didn't have like again the base of knowledge to like know like like to see a finesse, you know? Well, you would just say shit and you'd be like, Oh, sure, nah, you have uh syphilis, you gotta put mercury in your dick and it's fine. <laughs> 
I that's mean, how you, that's like, what you do. Instead of like punching a card, you like like punching credit cards. You like punching like scrolls with like a stamp you counterfeited, you three D printed in the in the future and brought back. You see how much grain I just got, bro? Yeah, like <laughs> taking this back to the village, we're gonna survive another, you just like, another season. You can forge the dowry papers. <laughs> So yeah, no, I'm up. I'm up, sis. And you get out there and it's just stones, rocks. Where is That's this? All they had back then anyway. Yeah, I guess you're right. The sticks and rocks and shit. I yeah. don't know. Being an ancient Roma is probably kind of lit. I guess. I mean, it, the thing is, like, the the human experience going back tens of thousands of years is just, like, a reason to have an orgy. You think so? That's and Look, every civilization, it's like what they do when, like, they, like, when there was an eclipse or, like, they won a battle or whatever, like they had an orgy. How do you know that? I'd be watching History Channel. And where YouTube. did where did it say? What fucking scroll did you read that on? <laughs> I, I I got a primary source. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, nah, we won, so it's it's orgy time. Yeah. Where? Oh time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I I don't feel like that is necessary. I feel like true. group sex was bigger in the past than it is now. Yeah. Like, I think group sex kind of fell out of vogue in, like, the 60s. I mean, group sex is disgusting, dude. From you saying that from experience? No, I'm just saying that from thinking about it. Like, logically, it just seems gross. Like, like really, bro? You, are you that horny? How horny are you? How horny are you, bro? Like, that's too much. That's too much. Yeah. That's too much. Yeah. The Lord didn't intend, us, intend for us to do that. I kind of did. Do you think so? If you want a battle, maybe, but who's winning battles these days? You didn't earn that. Um, like battle rappers. <laughs> Loaded Lux. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is the podcast. <laughs> Loaded Lux. Ah, dude. Dude, I uh no, no, no. I don't feel like people were doing or just, they may say that, but that's just that's just the modern <laughs> people mind. are like being like they like didn't get any ass back in the day, so they're like writing the scroll. They're like, and then we had a bunch of group sex. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, nah, I, I was I was getting it. I was getting it. I was there. I was there, bro. Unk, I was there. I was there. She was crazy, yeah, bro. bro. It was like twenty girls. Me and Thadocles, bro. We were running through them, dog. The yeah. little slave jaws. It was the shit was hard. No, dude, that's not what happened. Um, you, you just got back home and you probably just went back to farming Cincinnati style. So for some reason on my TikTok algorithm, it's been pushing this new Shoreline Mafia song down my throat. Shoreline Mafia. Who is that? The rappers from uh, L.A. And like they, I think they broke up and then they got back together. Oh. Uh, but they they rap about group sex a lot. Oh. Or like well, fucking like five women at once. I, this is one thing I've never really could come to terms with a lot. And like a lot of like rap music is like, yeah, if I love her, I'm going to pass her to the homie. Like, bro, you love Love her? You love her? You're gonna pass her to your friend? That's fucked up. Well, bro. you know, I think a lot of these, like, like the people who rap about that, probably have like pretty deep seated mommy issues, you know, and like they just like don't respect women. Mm, that's probably that's probably valid. That's probably yeah, valid. you know. That's a, if I love her, I'm gonna pass her off. Like, <laughs> no, I don't think any rapper has ever said if I love her, I'm gonna pass her. I around. feel like I feel like that is a Travis Scott bar. Tr who's a fact tracker? Someone look that up. And Look that up. The real fact quick. check is going to come back negative on that, dude. I feel like he's like, all right, fine, fine. But I don't I've think heard Travis be rapping about uh, group sex or even he seems asexual. You think so? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like where? <laughs> I just think when you're that deeply autistic, it's like <laughs> hard to like <laughs> catch a vibe in a group <laughs> sex setting. <laughs> Catching the vibe. Yes, it was not sweet, It was stinky. Bro. It smelled crazy in oh, there. Oh, you know it smells so... Oh, my God. The ancient orgy smelled so fucking crazy. Just butt and frankincense and myrrh and shit. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, All my. right, let's um switch gears here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair enough. What else have you been watching on TikTok? What else are you in the grips of the... Where, what is the algorithm pushing you towards? What narrative we got this There's week? a guy who, like, lays concrete, and he's always upselling his customers, and he seems pretty, like, unpleasant. What do you mean, upselling? He'd be like, he'd be like I got a cut gun, $20. That's an extra $1,000 per job. He was like, I shit, shit like that. He'd be like, um, he'd be like, yeah, it's raining, so... I just laid this concrete yesterday, and I asked my client, do, I, do we want me to come check on the concrete? I do it for $500. And then he said, yes, but I told him it's raining, so it's extra $250. So, bam, $700. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this doesn't seem 
ethical. Hustler. Yeah. Hustle that He's always wearing up, like a like a like a military issue looking Under Armour shirt, if that gives you the vibe. You know, like a tan Under Armour shirt. And what color is this fella? Um, like I guess he's white, but you know, he it could be like Melungeon. You know, like Melungeon. Yeah. You what the fuck is that? You never heard of that? No. It's like a it's like a ethnic group from Appalachia, and they're like all it's like part Native American, part white, like they're like uh they're they're a dusky people. Are you are you one of those folks? No, nah, I'm blue blood. Blue blood. Yeah. What is that? From the Blue Ridge Mountains? No, I'm like 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 royalty. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a lot, all right, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. First of all, let's let's go back to the Melungeon thing because I have some questions about okay. that. Okay, I might. We need the fact checker. But so, so Melungeon. I is... think Elvis and um and uh uh who's the guy from Ocean's Eleven? Clooney. Yeah, Clooney. They're both Melungeon. Are they all like hot usually, or like do they I think, not? Well, I think that when hot? you're like yeah, like when you have that like diverse of a ethnic background, you're usually pretty attractive. I feel like. Okay, I mean that's valid, I guess. I mean, that's just I've never I've never heard of that Melungeon. That right, doesn't well, sound. Google it. Yeah. Fact checker. Yeah, talk. Uh, oh, it's dark hair and skin with light colored eyes. Kamal was actually wondering if George Clooney was Hispanic, so he said. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said Yo, that was the first Google search is George Clooney Hispanic? He was like, No, he's Melungeon. I I think so. Like he has. Like, I'm telling you, I don't. You don't need to look it up. Hmm. I've done the research. I've done my research. You know? Is that like a frowned upon, like a disparaged uh, ethnic? No, white I think I think it's just like an under uh, underrepresented group in, from Appalachia. I'm like learning a lot right now because I didn't even know that there were. That's a subcategory of white I've never heard of before. Yeah, the spicy white. Uh, what are there spicy white? What are there any other spicy whites that we? Yeah, do? like like the people from like the Iberian Peninsula, like Spaniards. Yeah, like Spaniards. Oh, They're spicy whites. Spicy. Italians. Spicy whites. So basically, it, the closer to the equator you get, the spicier <laughs> you're white. Yeah, the spicier. Like the closer to the Arctic Circle you get, the less spicy you get. You become like a poblano or like a like a bell pepper. Mm, okay. All you know? right. All right. I think it probably has to do with like you know, like how much spice you can take uh, outside of like a hot sauce setting. You know. Okay, that's fair because when you get to like London and it's just like the blandest gravy, they don't yeah. even be putting pepper in their shit. <laughs> white pepper dude oh my god dog i've been like seeing this dude uh on on uh ig and he it's like every single sunday he'll be like he'll be like you know everybody that's been working hard descend it we love you i'm over here at my favorite pub drinking a pint mash his disgusting little pie and then a strange other thing that beans in a bowl and it's then he pours like, the like the gravy well, on you it. Know, I think I think the thing about British food is like they need food that kind of has like a baby food consistency because their teeth are so bad that they can't chew like, like you know. Not in modern England. We all know that's not true. Our our British customers. Um, you know what I mean? Like they're fine. Their teeth are fine. I've seen them. Also, you haven't seen you haven't seen like Newcastle Brits. That's a different kind oh, of. Oh, you talking about the ones that have like the crazy fake tans and shit. Yeah, like, 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 yeah, there's, like there's, Manchester. There's, yeah, Manchester. Yeah. There's like there's a new type of British person, and it's closer to Jersey Shore. No, no, it's sick. To, Did like, you ever Outer watch Twist. the British Jersey Shore? Nah, but that's it was called like hard. it's called like Georgie Shore, and it was like there's like a Jersey Shore up there, and like they're like trashier than the, the Jersey Shore people. See, my girl, my ex used to like that show, uh, Love Island, and it's just a bunch of Brits, and they're just on an island, and they're not doing fucking anything. <laughs> Drunk. They're just getting drunk and they're fucking and they're fighting each other, kind of. And then every once in a while, they get a text message and it'll be like, Oi, we got a text. We got a text. And then they play a little game or something. That's literally every reality show, bro. But then, it, but no one gets kicked off, I think. The, like the. They do. Of Love Island? Yeah. What? No, that's Chastity Island. Whatever happened to Fuckboy Island? Wasn't Keith supposed to be on that? He was. I, I don't know. I'm about to be on the next season. Well, you're not a fuck boy. You're a nice young man. That's true, but I'm just doing this for the clout. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. A little reality TV play? No? You guys couldn't see me on Big Brother? No? All right. You're there, big bro. Man, you know, I'm sure being on a reality TV show would be so amazing. It would be so sick. <laughs> Do you think so? <laughs> no, dude. It would be fucking awful. I don't think they get paid that much anymore. I feel like it went from like... 
like the situation was making like ten million a year. Um, There's no fucking way he was making it. I'm, yes, he went to jail for tax evasion because he got he didn't pay taxes on like thirty million dollars. Thirty million dollars. Dude, think how successful that show was. I know, but I was just thinking maybe they make like five hundred k a season. I see. I think nowadays they might get five hundred k between like the fifteen people who are on it. Like they're making like they're making like the dudes who play like triple A baseball numbers. Like you could you, you might be able to get to the majors and make. League minimum, which is like a mil, but otherwise you're making 25k. A year. On fucking 90 Day Fiance, I was like looking up how much they make. I don't and think they make anything. Do they make like two grand like an episode? And I was like putting yourself out there like this for two thousand dollars is well, you have nuts. To sit that back and also think about the type of person who like is already predisposed to be on 90 Day Fiance, and like that might be like the best that is gonna they're gonna get. They just need to change the title to like horniest people alive because you have to be so horny to be on that show. They're horny for love. Uh, horny for some some type of human interaction. Like, bro, you can't it's find hard. any people are really lonely. I mean, people are really lonely, but you don't have to move to India to find love. <laughs> what if what if what if you love doing call center scams? <laughs> mm, mm, tough call. <laughs> That's a tough call. Mm. Or like, what if you love eating like food that people made with their hands? I hate those, those videos. <laughs> I hate those. They're so fucked up. Uh, have you seen one of the dude and he's like, he's like sitting no, there. No, I with, haven't. I'll watch his, him. He's got like, he's got like his toes and shit like right next to him. He's like scooping the shit up. That's what they do in their culture, I guess. Dude, we have to edit this again. We gotta chill. What? <laughs> <laughs> anything bad? They're just the street. It's street food. <laughs> Bro, I ain't never seen the dude at the Leo's taco truck in LA with his toes out. <laughs> I mean, show a little bit of hog with your meal. Sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I got a couple of things I actually wanted to touch on. Awesome. Another Instagram thing. Those fucking posts where it's like this letter owes you X, Y, Z. And it'll be like this letter. If, if your name starts with this initial, they owe you tacos. And it's like always like an A or an S. Mm-hmm. Like, I sent you the one. You owe me sneakers, actually, because I sent you that post. Oh, really? Yeah, remember? I didn't watch it, no. Oh, uh, well, he's still owe me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I owe you. Like I, I plan to collect. You know what else I hate? The letter thing. The thing that they're doing on Twitter where it's like, look between these two oh, letters. That, that was only on there for like two days. That Dude, was stupid. It was so fucking infuriating. I was like, Twitter is kind of getting kind of like, burnt, I swear. You're, bur you're bugging. No, 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 no. You want to know why? Because all of my shit now is just like, like... Did you see these crazy backshot videos? Don't look in the comments. Well, dude, that is not on my fucking algorithm. <laughs> I will tell you that. I don't know who you're following or what your timeline's talking about. It's or what on kind the, of whatever the popular, because you know it's like following and popular now. I know I'm not the fucking only one where it's just like, like her leaks are crazy. And then underneath it'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> We're not on I'm not, porno I'm Twitter not, like I'm not you. Fucking, I'm not on <laughs> porno Twitter. I'm not on porn addict Twitter like that's, you, no. First of all, that's fucking crazy. One. Two, I'm just telling you guys about a natural <laughs> phenom a phenomena that's happening It's literally in the wild. unnatural. It's on a social media app. It's and the opposite of natural. It's an algorithm. You know what also I like about them, too, what makes them so fucking funny? is like, you know the community notes now? It would be like, this person is an OnlyFans yeah, user. Yeah. They are doing, a, a, this is a, an unpaid ad. And then on the in the all the threads, because, you know, I look, I'll look through. Because I mean, <laughs> coming on your timeline. I'll look, I'll look, through the, I'll look through the leak. It's always like, did you see my leak? <laughs> It'll be like linked to a whole other chick shit. It's so fucking geeked up. I'm this like, is this is crazy. It's dude. nasty work, bro. I'm just saying, like, it is nasty work. You're right. I mean, dog. Like, it used to be back in the day. Like, OnlyFans joints had to like scrounge, scrounge up a living by doing like funny little TikToks. You know what I mean? I'm stuck in the dryer. They had to be a little bit original with it, but now they're doing the crazy, uh, the crazy did my leak. Did you see my leaks threads? <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Good product sells itself. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know? Do you think our OnlyFans are only still making bread? Do you think? I don't know. I wonder. There's this whole. I bet money. you. I, I. I don't think bad, baby, baby is is hurting for money. It doesn't seem like it. She's been pretty quiet. Yeah. Well, she. I think she ran up like fifty million a year. Fifty million dollars. People yeah. want to see her naked that bad. I don't. And ne neither do I. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna like say something about like seeing Doctor Phil naked, but I don't want to see him naked actually. I bet he's got the hog. Do you think? I'm, I'm sure he's got a hammer. It's either it's either a hammer or it's a he's, he's like packing baby meat. 
<laughs> it's either one or the other, I think. It's like no, there's like no median ground, I feel like, with like uh-huh. size with Dr. Phil. It's either like a nub or like a fucking like no. <laughs> I mean Okay. Um <laughs> What are your thoughts on Chucky? Chucky <laughs> the doll. The doll. Why? Um just because I've noticed certain um, groups of people really love Chucky more than others. Oh, man. I feel like I know what you're going to say. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just wondering what you think about Chucky. I mean, I don't have any feelings towards Chucky. I used to have a big crush on uh, Jennifer Tilly, the bride of Chucky. Is that the chick who was in the movie or the actual doll? Girl talks like this. That one. She was hot. She is hot. She got the raspy voice. She's like a rocker I, chick. I doubt she's that hot anymore. You think so? 25 years ago that movie came out. The Bride of Chucky came out 25 years ago? 1999. Can we get a fact check on the year of Bride of Chucky? I feel like I feel like Bride of Chucky's kind of newer. I feel like that came out like that's definitely post 9 11. No. Yeah. See the Chucky, that's like mostly CGI, I feel like when I no, watched it. No, I think it. that was practical effects. Do you think they use real dolls? Yeah. Chucky's a doll. I know he's a doll, but they could have used CGI. <laughs> really? Bride of Chucky? Yeah. What about uh Cedar of Chucky? That's gotta be post 9 11. Everything's kind of a haze for me back then, you know. Well, you were like 11 years old. I was just, you know, I was going through it. Uh, Uh, Okay. All right. Mm, Fair enough. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, dude. What? I'm not a big fan of Chucky. The the idea of getting killed by a doll is so fucking stupid to me. Why? I don't know. Because it's just a doll. Just kick it. He's not just a doll. He has the soul of a serial killer inside of him. He does have that. He does have that. But he's just a little guy. (laughs) He's just a little guy. But it's about about the, the, the hate in your heart. I mean, here's the thing. First of all, you're buying that freaky ass doll for your, your kid, whoever is like all, observing. Dude, I mean, be... he, I, I, he, I'm gonna go ahead and interject right here. What? That almost all toys for kids are like insane things. Like they're insane. Like objectively, like if you like go and like look at like what toys are popular, they're all insane objects. Like kids should be like whittling wood. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's better. Like toy. <laughs> Stop laughing. Toys are like a, again, it's like Cedar Wars. It's a modern invention. It's be- <laughs> Don't roll your eyes. It's a modern invention. God. And actually, I guess they probably did have dolls back in the day. They had fucking okay. dolls and little carvings of horses and shit. I thought those were for like religious ceremonies. The carvings of the horse? Yeah. This is, they didn't build it just to sneak into Troy, baby. You know what I'm saying? They had little toys for kids. They had Toys okay. for kids. Okay. Well, toys are just insane, dude. Like, like what? Like, what if you came from the future, or like from the past, and saw a transformer? And you saw a transformer, Not like a real one, like a toy. Um, if I came from the past and I saw a transformer, I think the first thing that I would ask is, "Oh my god, what is this? What is a substance?" You'd be mesmerized by every portion of the toy. Well, because it's plastic. You'd be like, "What the fuck is this?" I would probably think it's some sort of metal. I guess the, the the next question is, what timing are we coming from? Are we just saying like old English Victorian kid? Because uh, yeah, yeah. they might be like, this shit is stupid. Like I want this doesn't even have any lead in it. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this doesn't taste sweet when I lick it. <laughs> this shit doesn't. This shit doesn't even. This yeah. toy doesn't even have asbestos in it. Like this shit's not a real toy, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even like gasping for air when I'm playing with this. Like it's just chill. Like where's the fun? It is chill. I mean, dude, like. Children's toys are like not that turned up anymore. It's just old shit. Spider Man. That's what we buy. My nephew is just Spider Man. Oh yeah, because you actually have like nephews and nieces. Like yeah, what are they? What are they into? Well, first of all, my niece I feel like has not looked up from her cell phone since she was like ten. Same. You know what I mean? It's just like she's just scrolling, 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 talking to her friends and shit. My nephew, you know, he's a little too young for a phone, but they got him one, and he'll text me. He will text me. He actually texted me the other day and it just said, I love you. And I was like, that's very nice. Does he have an Android or iPhone? <laughs> little broke ass nephew. <laughs> I don't think he's ready for the iPhone. Uh, I feel like I feel like Androids are like like where the predators really lay. <laughs> God, dude, this is gonna go put us in jail. <laughs> this is we're so bad at this. <laughs> how, 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 how long have we been doing this for? What are we at? 
All right, we're getting well, there. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. We're okay. We've been doing okay. Well, let's just wrap it up. 30 minutes is good. Yeah, that is good. That All is right. good. Um, <clears throat> follow um, whatever the social medias are for this and Luke's NYC and Nate and me. But you probably already know that if you're watching this or listening to this. Mm-hmm. Thank you for tuning in and um, don't lock us up for this. Yeah, please don't lock us up for this. This is, you know, we'll. We're probably going to be worse the next time, if I'm being real. I'm going to try not to. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to try not to as well. All right, cool.